My mission personally is to make everyone that works at Clean Water Services aware of our energy use and how much we actually spend and how it impacts our ratepayers. Like in the case of Cogen, we did that specifically to help reduce our footprint and make this plant cost less to operate over the next several years. This biopower project takes advantage of waste materials, notably fat soils and grease, which would otherwise traditionally be taken to a landfill. They're recovering that material and putting it to good use. This building is a fat soils and grease facility, so haulers come from all around the Portland metro area. The haulers get their stuff from your local Albertsons, Safeway, uh, Taco Bells, your restaurants. What happens here is we receive the waste and we keep it hot so that way it doesn't solidify in the pipes and the pumps, and then we send it to our digesters. At this point, it's still a dirtier gas that we don't want to send directly to the engine. The waste stream that we introduced to the digester historically was just the indigenous waste from a facility. Uh, the introduction of this waste stream nearly doubled our biogas production. So we run it through a scrubbing system. Uh, we have two vessels at first that remove the hydrogen sulfide, and then after that, we have two vessels that remove the siloxane. Once it leaves there, it goes then right to Cogen. I take a lot of pride in the Cogen department. It's pretty important to the plant process, not just the energy, but the, the heat produced. You know, it's a cogeneration, so we produce electricity and we also produce heat. And that heat is used uh, throughout the plant. We generate about 60% of the energy that we need to run this facility, so we pay about that. We have support from Energy Trust, uh, from PG, and also we have staff that's able to help us as well. This project generates about 11 million kilowatt hours of electricity per year. The average Oregon house uses about 11,000 kilowatt hours per year. So this is producing enough electricity to power a thousand homes in Oregon per year. So if we can prevent PGE from having to make a new power plant because we made changes here that are cost effective to our ratepayers, it's a win-win for everybody.